Hi, my name is Hannah. Welcome back to my channel for a very special Greek mythology video. This last week, I read the book Pandora's Jar, Women in the Greek Myths by Natalie Haynes, and it inspired me to go back and see all of the Greek retellings that I have read in the past few years. And so I thought I would give you a list, tell you the good ones, the ones I didn't like so much, and we can figure out what other Greek retellings I need to read if you'll let me know in the comments down below. So first, I wanted to start by talking about Pandora's Jar by Natalie Haynes. It is going through quite a few different women in Greek myths and how the myth is typically told, but some of the other sources for the myths and the women that were portrayed in those and how it changes the story and why our modern portrayals often stick to a certain narrative. These women were originally shown to be very complex, and why is that not always the narrative that we have been told about these original Greek myths? And I thought it was really interesting that she went into, okay, this play was written about this Greek tragedy, but in earlier accounts or in a different account, this is how it came about. And looking specifically at the women was just really fascinating. What this book really did for me was give some solid reasons why retellings of myths are important. And I think it is an interesting conversation to have. So recently in the news was Jenna Ortega when asked if she would want to star in a female reimagining of Edward Scissorhands. And she said, I love that there's a lot more female leads nowadays. I think that's so special, but we should have our own. I don't like it when it's like a spinoff. I don't want to see like Jamie Bond. So she makes a really good point. We don't want to just have men's stories twisted around and given to women and say, yeah, that's enough. But at the same time, when are retellings important? And I think that Natalie Haynes made a really strong point for these enduring tales that have lasted from Greek mythology and have had so many versions in our pop culture and throughout history she made a really good case that since they are such enduring stories, a retelling and showing women's perspectives a lot of times is really important. And so I think there is an interesting conversation to be had for are these retellings just rehashing the same stories but picking a woman character to focus on or are they bringing something new to the table? But I do think that some of these retellings can be really good, really important, and show a different perspective on classic tales and tropes that you will see through so much of the media that you consume. And so this book made me excited again about Greek retellings. I highly recommend it, enjoyed it a lot, so I thought I'd go through some of these books. The first one that I talk about is Stone Blind by Natalie Haynes, and this is her retelling of the myth of Medusa. I thought that it was really well done. I enjoyed it. Do I remember all of the specifics? No. And this was a story that I feel like I knew pretty well. And so going into a retelling, I wasn't sure how much more new it brought in, but I appreciated the focus on Medusa and her story, and I thought it was well done and well researched. So Natalie Haynes' Stone Blind, a solid retelling. If you want just the Greek myths, you don't want any fuss, you just want to be told these in an entertaining sort of way, pick up one of Stephen Fry's books. I read Heroes, Mortals, and Monsters, Quests, and Adventures, as well as Mythos, the Greek Myths Retold, and both of these were excellent. If you like Greek myths and you want to read them in an accessible way, I think that these are really solid picks. Now, do they feel like they are bringing a new perspective, trying to look at how women are portrayed or look at things deeper and more complex? No but you get a really great overview understanding these Greek myths. I highly recommend these books if you want a place to start with Greek myths. If you feel like you have a background in Greek myths, jump into some of the other ones, but these two 
are a great way to prime yourself for some retellings, some focusing on different characters. I think you would like either of these books and he has two other books that focus on Troy and the Odyssey and so if you are enjoying the tone, enjoying the light way that he treats some of these stories, keeping it fun, I think you could keep going on this. Now for just a fantastic retelling, I would suggest Ithaca by Claire North. This book is following Penelope awaiting her husband's return after the Trojan War and this was really well done. It had that great balance of going into depth with the myths and telling the story really well but also bringing something new to the table that makes it feel fresh and relevant to modern times so I highly recommend this one. I thought that this one was one of the better ones that I have read. Really interesting and really relevant. Now this book did not work super well for me but I read A Song for Ella Gray by David Almond. This is a retelling of Orpheus and Eurydice and it is a different way to look at it. It's set in more modern times. It's very overwritten and a little bit YA overwritten. You just feel like somebody had a lot of angst when putting this book together. But through that poetic language and the different way that it was approached, I did appreciate it because this stands out as one of the more different Greek retellings that I have read. So, you know, it gets points for doing something different, even if it wasn't something that worked for me. If you like some slow, broody, descriptive language that's maybe a little just overwritten, yeah, sure, this one works. But not my favorite by any measure, just something very different. So if you have read lots of Greek retellings and you are tired of them and want something that approaches it in a different way, this one might be for you. Now, I read two books by Jennifer Saint. I read Electra and Ariadne, and both of these were solid retellings. Electra is an interesting retelling that takes place during and after the Trojan War following the Queen Clymenestra, Cassandra, and Electra. And so we do jump perspectives. It's not solely focused on Electra, but it is a solid take on the story, focusing on the women characters and the things that they did. And so while I wasn't wowed out of my mind by it, I felt like it was a solid take on the Greek myth. So if you want to know more about these characters, you're gonna like it. It was fun, it was engaging, and it really went into detail and had the right tone to get you feeling like you were involved in these ancient stories. Now Ariadne focuses on the tale of the Minotaur and Theseus from Ariadne's perspective. I thought that also very solid, great retelling, really enjoyable. Didn't give me anything that was mind-blowing but was just a really solid take on the story and a fun way to revisit the story while getting a different perspective. And to end off this video, I want to talk about two of my favorites. They are both by Madeline Miller and I read The Song of Achilles and Circe. And it has been a while since I picked up these books and I think I might need to do a reread because these have been the standard that I have measured up any other Greek retelling to. These books not only retold the story in a fun and engaging way, but made it feel new and relevant. And it has been more than five years since I read Circe. And I remember as I was going through it, part of the way through, the idea came into my head that I am reading something that is timeless and epic. And that's how I felt with both of her books, that not only was she retelling the story, but she made it feel like this could last thousands of years into the future, her versions, because they were written so engagingly. But 
It also has been a long time since I've picked them up and I need to pick them up again at some point and see if they hold up to what I've built them up to be in my head because I loved my time with both of these books. Highly recommend to anyone who is interested in Greek mythology retellings. So if it remotely interests you, highly recommend. Jump into these ones. These books are great. They tell a story from different perspectives, bring something new to the table, make it feel relevant, but at the same time, make it feel epic and like it will last thousands of years, that this story is the definitive version. And I love that. And those two books are some of my very favorite Greek retellings. So let me know in the comments down below which of these you have read. Do you agree with me on my thoughts on them? And what ones should I read next? I went through a period where I felt like I have read too many Greek mythology retellings. But this latest book by Natalie Haynes has kind of reinvigorated my interest and I would be happy to pick up another Greek retelling soon. Let me know what your favorite Greek retelling is in the comments down below and I will see you all on the next one.